I hope it's showing up. I have to actually check just to make sure. Yes, okay, it's showing. So anyway, I used this flask and I placed the reference of Polaris here. You see it's the exact actual height. I'm going to just have three measurements down away from Polaris. So this is Polaris here. Obviously Mike would have to walk away. This would be 1.1 meters away. Exactly 1.1 meters. The next one would be exactly another 1.1 meters. So that's 2.2 meters. And the third position, which is exactly 3.3 meters away. If you've noticed that they have become more acute as he went, oh, as we went away. So let's replay that again. And I'm going to pause it at each place just to show you. Already here, you can see the difference. Actual height, but look at the acuteness of the angle. Look at that. This angle slope is not the same as that angle slope and not the same as that angle slope. Angles matter. Yes. Let's go to the next one. You see how this one is much more similar to this one than it was to the other one because the distance they compress. In other words, it gets more acute with the distance. And okay, so, so you can see the first one, 1.1 1 1, 1 .1 meters away from Polaris. The second marking, another 1.1 meters, and the third marking, another 1.1 meters. So that made it, all in all, 3.3 meters away with exactly the same distances. This is from the first one, 8.57 degrees. Second one, 4.7 degrees. And the third spacing, 3.39. Now remember, 1.1 meters, 2.2 meters, 3.3 meters. What does this show us side by side? Excuse me. Yella, as a belief. Shush, as well, as we are Shush. Okay. It already shows us the compression. It shows us what's happening. Angular drop. It's perspective. What's happening? Is Polaris literally dropping into the horizon? No. Polaris is just having an, an optical effect. It's an angular relationship it's showing it's dropping optically into the horizon what see it's even compressing these you see see the distance between these now look at the distance between. look how closer together that is compared to that why because with distance it compresses more uh, excuse me <coughs> we're struggling with sinuses today so it's finally coming loose Okay, so we have the same effect when it comes to the bottom of the ground rising. See how it's going and it's compressing further into the distance. So is that height not the same height as those two? Oh, no. the exact same height. They're physically exactly the same height. They appear to drop thanks to perspective. This is exactly me saying, I put it right next to each other you see look as we like to say shit shrinks so it changes you see if I had to make them exactly the same size and put them next to each other they're still exactly the same size so the same height everything it just shows it shrinks in the distance therefore perspective just again showing it's compressing into the distance everything converges to the eye line how would we graph that what happens when we place it where okay we're placing it where it's supposed to be that was the mark to the polaris there which was nine degrees it's kind of small now for the cell phones but i'm going to zoom it in next one at 2.2 meters it was five degrees and the next one 3.3 meters four degrees what does this show us if we have to place it exactly at those positions it shows us this what is the problem here I don't know if you guys realized but this one was the closer one this was the middle and this was the further one which one is showing above 
Does it mean now because the one at the back has now a, a more acute angle, it's higher? No. This is why when they tell me to graph it out, placing it like they want to, it's not going to work. Let's graph it like you're supposed to with the same distances. This is the 9. I've placed it again, you see? Because perspective. That's why it has the same sizes. This shows it a bit more consistent, don't you think? Because that would be the bottom line, which shows at the bottom. Be the middle line, which shows at the middle. And be the closer one, which would be the top. Hmm, very odd. Which one looks more consistent to what we are seeing here? The one where it's placed that way, or the one where it's placed that way? To me, it looks like that one is more consistent with what we observed in reality, based on perspective, than that one, don't you think? Because why? Look at the yellow line, where is it facing, the nine degrees? On that one, it's the bottom. This one, it's the top. And, well, it's changed around. So, I think that makes it very clear why you place it with the same angles. What happens when you have to do Sean Hawkins straw man and you have to force it to have the same apparent angular height? It changes the physical angles. What does that mean? The old um, reading that the actual altitude angle reading we took was four degrees. After I forced it to sit on the five degree line and the nine together, it changed it to three degrees. So it lost the whole degree just because of that. And what happened to that? The nine degree became a 10 degree because we had to force everything to have a different angular size. This is why we say angles. It's an apparent angular position. It's an apparent angular measurement. When you want us to do a straw man of sticking it to an actual height because you're too dumb to understand the difference between optical and physical, this is what happens. It fudges the numbers. Sean Hawkins. So, here's my graph once again, showing them having their actual apparent measurements placed at. This is now based on the previous models where it was 600 nautical miles in between. See how it compresses at the top and compresses with the burda? I've set now a baseline of a 45 degree there, just for reference for a later one. But look how the apparent angular altitude angle changes. This is because a 70 degree is a measured 70 degree. A 30 degree is a measured 30 degree. So it's going to have apparent altitude differences. It's not physical. We measure these things in three dimensional space. This is now what happens if you had to actually do what Sean wants to do. What is going on here? Very simple. He wants us to stick everything on a 45 degree because he says the 45 degree will be the actual height. Which is Nike, Eli, I believe. Which is, um, as you can see, messing everything up. What is it doing? Well, it's kind of changing the distances. You can see that 50 degrees is still fine. But what's going on when it's getting to a further distance? It's starting to push that distance out even further because it has to push that line out further to hold the same angular measurement. Because remember, angle has to do with its slope. Excuse me once again. Okay. Uh, don't worry, soon I'm going to be able to do my studio again in the lounge, ach, in the garage, which is going to be much easier. Because it's kind of difficult with the children, but I'm sure everybody's got children understands. Okay, so anyway, like I say, cause an angle has a, a slope. It's a set slope angle. That's what that degree measurement is. If it's 10 degrees, it's a 10 degree slope angle. You have to physically change the distance to get that angle, or it's going to be a different angle. And this is what Sean and them just don't seem to get into their head. Now we're going to do what Sean has done with his whole argument. Somehow thinking he's got something. Wow. 
what does this graph tell everybody? First of all, we've stuck everything to his 45, like he says. We've stuck it at everything at its distance. You know, 80 degree latitude, da da da. Eh? What has it done to the physical angles? Quite plain and simple. A 80 degree angle has physically changed now to a 70 de 78 degree angle. So, Sean thinks now, if we're measuring an 80 degree angle, it's physically changing to 78 degrees. He says we actually measured 78 degrees and not 70 because we measuring to actual 45 degree which is not true they're ignoring perspective remember what i said it's an apparent altitude angle so let's look at how these things actually change inconsistently based on their straw man argument if you have to go to a 70 degree latitude and measure a 70 degree if you have to force it to the 45 it would be 67 60 degree it would be a 58 the only one that's really consistent, 50-50, is the 50 degree mark, really odd. And then 44, 39, 34, 31. What does that tell us? Well, the 80 degrees was minus two degrees, less than what you actually measured it at. The 70 degree was minus three degrees less than what we measured it at. Uh, 60 degrees is minus two degrees less, 50 degrees was zero, that's just 50 degrees somehow. Plus four degrees for a 40 degree. And when it comes to 30 degrees, it's plusing to nine. When it gets to the 20 degrees, we plus 14 degrees. That's, that's quite a substantial amount for 20 degrees. You have to, what a percentage increase is that? And then we get to 10, which is even over a 100% increase because it's a plus 11. This graph alone, shows that when Sean Hawkins wants to make a straw man argument that says you have to take everything at a physical height on the flat earth, it's him showing he's being dishonest and really ignorant because you are physically changing the angles. Why? Because you're ignoring, we take perspective. We look in a three-dimensional space. We do not live in two-dimensional orthographic. So I thought, let's just make, a, for the fun of it, a nonsensical graph showing what idiocy this really is. I placed a Y altitude angle and a or X altitude angle and a Y distance just within place there. Look at that inconsistency. This is just following the curve. So this is what they're saying the angles are actually doing on a flat earth. Yeah. I'll just let that sink in a bit for you guys. Exactly the same size and put them next to each other, they still